Welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order? Can I get a... McDonald's is one of the most recognized restaurant brands in the world, but some outlets may seem less familiar. Here are 10 McDonald's locations you won't believe actually exist. Roswell, New Mexico. UFO-shaped McDonald's. One Mexican cheeseburger. It's debatable if aliens can be found in the parched deserts of New Mexico, but one thing is certain, you will be able to find a McDonald's in the form of a flying saucer there. The infamous UFO crash sighting in Roswell, New Mexico occurred in 1947, when debris was discovered on private land just north of the town. The Roswell Army Airfield declared they had captured a flying saucer when the property owner showed the wreckage to the sheriff, who subsequently showed it to the army. The wreckage originated from balloons, according to members of the military at the time, a top-secret military effort that would release high-altitude balloons to spy on the Soviet Union. But the town has been linked to alien activity ever since, which is reflected in a nearby McDonald's. The McDonald's on the city's main street is made up of so much metal and glass that it appears capable of flying off to another world at any moment. This Mickey D's is shaped like a UFO, taking advantage of the local lore. Smart, Ann. Smart. Not only that, but a local artist has painted a mural on the enormous wall of a neighboring building featuring Ronald McDonald as well as Birdie the early bird flying about a planet-sized brain in spaceships. The artwork provides something to think about for customers waiting in line at the drive through as well as a picture opportunity for Roswell's extraterrestrial Industrial-minded fast food eaters. Dallas, Texas. Happy Meal-shaped McDonald's. Will somebody get the kid a Happy Meal? On the outside, most McDonald's outlets are very similar. Familiar, yet plain, and the same can be said about the interior. This is true for the majority of the restaurant's numerous locations throughout Texas, of which there are many. This out-of-the-ordinary McDonald's in Dallas, Texas, however, defies the trend on both counts. This Dallas store is constructed like a large Happy Meal box, featuring recognizable characters painted on the window windows like the Hamburglar and Ronald McDonald, as well as a massive Big Mac sculpture protruding over the main door. And as if the restaurant's distinctive exterior wasn't enough, the inside is just as wild. The restaurant's interior evokes a fine dining experience, with Ralph Lauren-designed wallpaper, mahogany booths, and Austrian crystal chandeliers. Not bad. Not bad. It could be the fanciest McDonald's interior you'll ever see. Kristiansand, Norway. McDonald's in a former bank. I've got it! I'm robbing the bank! You'd be excused if you were unaware that Kristiansand is Norway's sixth largest city. It gets more sun than virtually everywhere else in the nation, has Baltic Sea beachfront not far from the city center, and even organizes a 60,000-person annual beach festival. But did you know the city is also home to a McDonald's that's housed in a once majestic bank building with four giant marble pillars marking the entrance? Unfortunately, the doorway is purely for show, so you'll have to enter by the side door, which is much less impressive. Yeah, no biggie. This branch, like many other Golden Arches locations across the world, provides location-specific menu items such as the McLox, a grilled salmon sandwich with dill sauce. McDonald's initially opened in Norway in 1983, and it was an instant sensation. They source a lot of their products from Norwegian suppliers, with three quarters of the ingredients coming from Norwegian businesses. Freeport, Maine, 19th century mansion McDonald's. We don't all live in mansions. This is hardly a mansion, Margaret. McDonald's isn't known for its opulent eateries, but there are a few exceptions. In Freeport, Maine, a beautiful Golden Arches restaurant is built inside a 19th century estate, with a sign bearing the fast food chain's renowned emblem placed tastefully on the front lawn. Inside, patrons dine on lobster rolls and classic Big Macs in an elegant dining area with a majestic fireplace and candelabra. It was around 1850 when Maine merchant William Gore erected the home. The mansion, known as Gore House, is a mix of Greek revival and Italianate architecture. McDonald's attempted to open a restaurant on the property in the early 1980s, but residents opposed the plan because the fast food establishment's characteristic red and yellow architecture violated the municipality's rigorous architectural design rules. No! Just go home. No! 
McDonald's and the town finally reached an agreement. The Freeport Zoning Board of Appeals granted the business permission to open a restaurant within the historic Gore House in late 1983. Inside the 19th century home of a former ship captain, you can find luxurious and elegant furnishings as well as your classic McDonald's menu. And if you dare, order a McDonald's lobster roll if you're seeking something unique to New England. As we keep moving on, take a second to hit that like button, would ya? Thank you. Next! Taupo, New Zealand, the airplane McDonald's. Good news is we'll be landing immediately. Bad news is we're crash landing. Some airplanes may offer burgers as part of their in-flight meal options, but they'll certainly pale in comparison to the Big Mac served at a McDonald's in Taupo, New Zealand. Believe it or not, this Mickey D's dining section is housed within a decommissioned jet. The plane sits stationary on land that was once a used car dealership, so there's no burger flipping happening in the cockpit at 30,000 feet. The plane was purchased by the dealership's owner for the curiosity factor to draw in customers. Game changer. And when McDonald's purchased the land, the grounded plane came with it. The plane in question is a DC-3 from the 1940s and can now seat up to 20 people after being transformed into a dining room. This particular aircraft was produced in 1943 and flew for New Zealand's South Pacific Airlines from 1961 to 1966. It has been repainted to include the restaurant's iconic branding on the side of the plane. What a cool way to feel like you're truly getting some world-class in-flight service while enjoying your favorite burger from the Golden Arches. Prague, Czech Republic, McDee's next to the Communist Museum. Not there, anywhere but there. Oh, a museum! The Museum of Communism is located in Prague, Czech Republic, a beautiful city and among Europe's most visited places. A unique McDonald's is also located just adjacent to the museum. That's interesting. That's very interesting. The museum, which is housed in a former nobleman's castle, focuses on the political regime that ruled Czechoslovakia and much of Eastern Europe until 1989. The museum was founded by a political science student from the United States. Of course, there are many propaganda artworks and posters at the museum, and most of the material was purchased at flea markets by the institution's founder. There's some irony in having a world-famous burger joint, one that is viewed as one of the M emblems of American capitalism, no less, beside the museum dedicated to communism. But there's nothing like learning about the past and walking around a museum to work up an appetite, and then walking across the street to grab a Big Mac. Luxor, Egypt, McDee's near the Luxor Temple. You don't like ancient Egypt. Hmm. Fast food restaurants are common around Egypt's famed old archaeological sites. In plain sight of one of the famous seven ancient wonders of the world, you may feast at a KFC or a Pizza Hut immediately across from the Pyramids of Giza. Many visitors are surprised to learn how close the pyramids are to civilization and familiar restaurant chains, which many imagine are in the middle of an empty desert. A McDonald's near the Luxor Temple in Egypt's southern city of Luxor offers a similar experience. The city is known as the world's biggest open-air museum, and this three-story McDonald's outlet overlooks the ruins of the Luxor Temple, which dates back to the 1300s BC and was built by a number of successive pharaohs. The McDonald's with the greatest view in the world, according to some, is quite a wonder itself. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Egypt is also home to the world's second cheapest Big Mac. Although a Big Mac costs around $6 on average in the United States, it costs only about 2 bucks in Egypt due to the conversion rate. For the most die-hard McDonald's fan, it may be worth the trek to Egypt just to load up on some seriously cheap food from the famous restaurant chain. Oh, and I guess the Pyramids of Giza may be worth visiting as well. Negev Desert, Israel. The Desert McDonald's. The good news is, you're in the middle of a desert. 
When it comes to determining where to open a new fast food restaurant, location is usually the most important factor. It's unclear what McDee's were thinking when they chose to build a McDonald's in the Negev desert of Israel. I have no idea. Tourists occasionally stop at this McDonald's on their way to the vacation areas in southern Israel. Nonetheless, considering how barren and unaccommodating the surrounding terrain is, this site is unlikely to attract much foot traffic. The yearly rainfall in the Negev region, where this McDonald's is located, is less than 8 inches. The name Negev, which means dry in Biblical Hebrew, was given to the desert to reflect this feature. When it does rain, though, it pours. The Negev is vulnerable to flash floods due to the dryness of the land, which may be incredibly dangerous, stranding people and even causing a few deaths every year. The Negev Desert, which covers almost half of Israel's geography, is so barren that hikers on the Israel National Trail must bury water ahead of time and then dig it out afterwards because huge swaths of the Negev have nowhere to replenish their water bottles. But if you stumble upon a Mickey D's while on a desert trek, it might not be a mirage, but the real deal. Rome, Italy. McDonald's beside the Spanish steps. Let's get some dinner. You still like... Italian. If you're on vacation in Rome and have just visited the Spanish steppes, you'll find yourself next to one of the fanciest McDonald's in the world. This Golden Arches site may not date back as far as the Spanish steppes, but it did open its doors in 1986, making it the first McDonald's in Rome. The unbearable scent of fried food polluting the air and the idea that the business was adding to the debasement of Rome and the westernization of Italian culture did not go down well with Romans at the time. Babidi-boopi? Che cosa? Peter, what are you doing? Speaking Italian. Protests did eventually die down, and the facility is now in its fourth decade of operation. Imagine a little more affluent Olive Garden, if you're trying to picture what it looks like. Fountains, sculptures, and mosaic walls are among the artistic characteristics, and the tables, which are covered with marble. A salad buffet, chicken cordon bleu sandwich, and fresh pastries are among the upmarket menu offerings. Even though this McD's location is near a popular tourist destination with tens of thousands of tourists each day, you shouldn't have any trouble securing a table. The restaurant can accommodate up to 450 people at any given time. Paris, France. McDonald's in the basement of the Louvre. We'll have the... <laughs> McDonald's has not always been well received in France. A group of farmers demolished a McDonald's restaurant in southern France in 1999 to protest tariffs imposed on French products and the importation of hormone-treated cattle meant for McDonald's burgers from the United States. They demolished the building and carried away the materials, spraying McDo Go Home on what was left of the construction site. However, the general view of the Golden Arches in France appears to have changed changed. France was McDonald's most lucrative nation outside of the United States in 2014, with sales of $4.8 billion the year before. Franklin Grand Panda. Jackson. McDonald's established a location in the Louvre Museum's subterranean basement in November 2009. While it didn't quite fit in with the Mona Lisa, it was close enough for some to reignite the anti-American sentiment. I'm not against dining in the museum, one Parisian commented, that McDonald's is hardly the pinnacle of gourmet, and that today it's McDonald's, tomorrow it'll be cheap clothing stores. It's safe to say that even even though McDonald's isn't even close to the quality of most food found in Paris, there's something to say about the convenience and familiar flavors that the mega chain is notorious for. The next time you visit Paris and you've had your fill of the famous French cuisine, you can always treat yourself to some McDonald's fries and a Big Mac. But let's be honest, tiring of France's famous restaurants? That won't happen. Ever. Ever. Never. We're open 24-7. Just tap or click for another great video, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad. And hey, leave us a comment.